Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sheree Skipson and I'm Katie Moore. An Amy woman who has spent decades saving the lives of abused and neglected horses is asking why someone would want to come on her property and kill two of her rescues. So now investigators from the Tangipaho Parish Sheriff's Office rather say they need your help to solve the case. Mac Ferris has that story from Amy. Hey Pumba. On a tranquil equine sanctuary in a meet. He was tied up in a backyard, a lot of a lot of stuff back there. Where horses old and young, full sized and miniature, come to live in safety after they're seized from abuse, rescued from neglect, or surrendered by owners, something malicious and suspicious happened. I just don't understand why anybody would shoot them. They were my most vulnerable. I mean, they're 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 little, they're minis, they're the mama was old, she couldn't get away fast. It was Sunday afternoon around two when a miniature mare and her miniature filly were killed in a back pasture. How many gunshots did they each have? The mama had four or five, and the baby had two. Were they execution style in the head? No. Um, the mama had one in the head, mostly in her abdomen, or her side, and the baby had one in her buttocks and one in her side. Founder of Equine Advocacy of Louisiana, Alicia Maloney and her family are distraught. So are the other horses. Nobody's eating. Um, they're very stressed. So I have, I actually have a few that look like they've actually lost weight since it happened. The Tangipahoa Sheriff's deputies are investigating the case. They spent Thursday morning on the grounds looking for clues. We think someone specifically went up there and targeted those uh, miniature horses for malicious purposes. <laughs> Equine Advocacy of Louisiana operates on a tight budget. Last year, donations totaled only one-fifth of the cost of caring for the horses, and the need is growing. Equine Advocacy of Louisiana is so busy right now with the pandemic and the cost and inflation that they get calls every day of people who can't afford their horses asking them to take care of them. But now they're hoping to put together a reward for information on why and who took aim of these two animals on a hot summer afternoon. From a meet, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. So if you have any information, you can contact the Tangipaho Sheriff's Office or Tangi Crime Stoppers. We'll have the details for both of those agencies on WWLTV.com with this story.